Hi and welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. The weather is pretty bad. It's cold, rainy and really humid. Not my favorite weather. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a box mock-up in Photoshop. For the mock-up, a PNG file is preferred but a graphic with a white background is going to work too. Maybe we will have to do some cleanup but this is not a big deal. No need to cut it out. Here I'm gonna use my channel name and my channel logo. Now we're going to copy our logo by pressing Ctrl C and then we're going to paste it on our box by pressing Ctrl V. Here we go. Now. Let's press Ctrl T to make it a bit larger, not by much, there we go, there we go, done, now let's put it over there, now let's press on the Ctrl key and then on the thumbnail so we can select our graphic, not on the layer, on the thumbnail, now let's press on Ctrl C to copy it. Now let's click here on the plus to make a new layer. Press on Ctrl D to deselect it and now hide the layer. Let's go to the menu filter and then click on vanishing point. When you're in this menu we're going to make four points. One here, one here and one here. And now let's press on the control key to extend it to the next side. For this one we're going to make a new grid because the perspective would not match the grid. So let's click here or C and now let's make a new grid. Now let's press control V to paste our design. Now let's drag it over the first side. Now. Let's do that again and here we're going to see that it does not fit. So press Ctrl Z to go back. Now press on Ctrl T to resize it and hold the shift key pressed so we are not going to distort the design. Now it looks fine in my opinion. Yes, there you go. Now do that again for here. Ctrl V to paste it again. Now repress shift to resize it. There we go. Now let's put it on. There. Now let's click on OK and to remove the white background we're going to use the blending mode multiply and here we can see that we have a slight edge around it so we're going to use the brush and then we're going to make a layer mask so we do a non-destructive edit. Now we're going to choose black so we can remove. And there we go let's just paint over that slight edge so it looks better. I hope you liked this video if you found it helpful don't forget to give it a like so it can spread to more people a subscription would be awesome i hope to see you in the next one and take care of yourself